Hello YouTube. Here's the much uh, asked for recipe for my burritos in a jar. This is really super easy. They taste great. It's a quick meal. I like to actually take it out of the jar and mix it up. Add some cheese to the top of it. Either pop it in the oven or pop it in the microwave. Then add it to my burrito or just eat it with chips. It's great. We're going to start with uh, browning some ground meat. This recipe I'm going to give you today is per quart jar. So we're going to brown our ground meat and you want to brown it really well. If you have to add a little olive oil or something to the pan, do that. I did enough today to make two jars. So this wasn't quite a full pound of ground meat. And we're also going to use um, dry beans, rice. I would normally use uh, brown rice, but I didn't have any, so we used what we had. We'll get all of our ingredients together. I use green chilies, rotel tomatoes, um, onions, bell peppers, celery, my homemade taco seasoning, dry powder mix, and actually some homemade chicken broth. You can use beef broth or chicken broth. So what I did was I started, this is per jar, a half a cup of dry beans. I did one jar of pintos, one jar of black beans. One fourth cup of rice, one fourth cup onions, bell peppers, and celery. And mine were frozen. You can use frozen. You could use season blend if you wanted. So just multiply the one fourth by three and you got three fourths of a cup. When you get that in there, you're going to do this in layers in this order. It's important. Then you're going to add one cup of the brown ground meat on top of your veggies. Like I said, the order is important. Like I said, this wasn't a full pound, so you could probably do three jars with a pound of meat. It just depends on if you want to do uh, half a pound per jar. That's up to you. It depends on how much meat you like in it. We're also going to use chicken broth. This is homemade chicken broth. I did, uh, this was a half a can of Rotels that I had. So one can of Rotels would do four jars. So I split the uh, what I had in this container between the two jars. Be sure you add a little juice in each because there's a lot of flavor in that Rotel. You could even do homemade Rotel tomatoes. Then I used some diced green chilies. I did a heaping tablespoon per jar. Like I said, it's the order of how it goes in is important. Then next we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt to each jar. And this is a homemade taco seasoning mix that I make up. You could use store-bought if you wanted, but you might uh, either not use as much or back off on the salt till you see how salty your taco seasoning mix is. Then we're going to add a cup and a half of chicken broth per jar. My jar had settled so it had like some pepper and onion and all that kind of stuff in the bottom. So I wanted to make sure I kind of divided all the good goodness in the bottom of the jar in between these two jars. While I was canning I also made a, a jar of black beans. I like to fill the canner. Finger tight. You don't put any more water in it. Leave it just like it is. Just finger tight your jars. Put it in the pressure canner and you're going to can it for 90 minutes. If you decided to divide this recipe and do pints, you'd do 75 minutes. And this looks, looks great. So you've got your beans and your rice and everything else stays on top. So, you know, your, your, your beans and you want to make sure you got enough liquid on your beans and your rice so they cook properly. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. 
uh, be sure you join our channel and click on the little notifications bell. The uh, recipe will be in the description. If you have any questions, send us a comment. Hope you have a great day. This is Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.